Let me, let me let you lead off, if you would. Give, give us your best case why Americans <laughs> should have a cat in the White House. Well, there's no doubt, Bryant, that dogs do make wonderful pets. Um, they, they live to please, they love to do what they're told, and they virtually agree with everything the owner tells them to do. But, you know, this, this old-style attitude of rolling over and playing dead no longer sits well with Americans. And I can't believe that the American public really wants the president's pet to be nothing more than a, a yes man in a dog suit. Now, to me, cats are a great example of American independence and pride. Cats are free thinkers like the voters themselves, and you're never going to be in doubt about what a cat has to say. A cat is not going to show his claws unless he means business, while a dog's bark is going to be worse than his bite. And Sox Clinton is the perfect presidential pet because cats represent the mod modern attitude of America where where individuality is applauded. Okay? Thank and you, I'll thank stop you, it thank there. You, Ms. Sox is a baby boomer cat in his prime. Leader Dole is a 13-year-old senior citizen dog who's he may be fine, but I tell you, he gets those people know dogs like to chase cars. Those poor little doggy legs can't even catch the train that's chugging into the 21st century. And <laughs> I swear, if he could catch the train, he'd find Sox Clinton already in, on board and in the driver's seat. Because Don't I you think the feline qualities of the cat bear a relationship to the feminine gender of human beings? <laughs> I think we need not to get well, into wait a minute. sexual we have, issues we have, here. We're we talking have... about these vaunted, positive feline characteristics, are we not? We are talking about the positive characteristics of pets, regardless of sex. And I think to get the gender question in here is a low blow and beneath you, quite frankly. <laughs> Steal my beef jerky again, devil woman. I ain't never stole your beef jerky, and I wouldn't neither. Probably got mad cow. Mad cow? Are you nuts? Moo! Oh my god. What was that? Oh, Rhonda Simmons. Crazy old coot.